Hi, Miriam. Um, I am just hammering out some of these. I wrote down how to do addition and subtraction of these guys, which is what you said was what you like the least. Um, so first thing you need to do is find the least common denominator. Multiply each term top and bottom by what you need to get the same denominator each term. So there's going to be two terms, so this minus that and all that. Um, if subtraction, I can put parentheses around the second term to remember to distribute. So I'm going to do, um, for example, number 7. I'll do all of these, but I'm going to do them in a weird order. So if I have 7 over x minus 1 minus 9 over 2 x minus 1, okay? Find the least common denominator. So do you see how my least common denominator here is going to be 2 times x minus 1? So this one's missing the 2. So I'm going to multiply top and bottom by 2. So 2 times 7 over 2 x minus 1. This term is just fine. 9. I'm going to put it in parentheses. Usually if it was like 9 minus 3a or something like that, I'd have to distribute it. But I'm just going to do the parentheses this time so you see what I'm talking about. And then this is, whoa. This is going to be 2x minus 1. So now that my um, denominator is the same, I just kind of make that line. So 2 times 7 is 14 minus 9. And then that whole line goes in there, 2x minus 1. So 14 minus 9 is 5. So it's 5 over 2x minus 1. That's number 7. Um, another one that's subtracting like that would be number 6. I know. Why don't I do them in order? I'm a big pain. Uh, oopsie. I just don't know if I'll be able to get through all of them or not. So for 6, I have 5 oops, over 6ab minus 7 over 8a. So I'm going to look for the least common denominator here, okay? We very typically jump right to the 6 times 8, which is 48. And you could do that. Um, I hope you don't. You could do that. I hope you see that 24 is a smaller one that goes in there. So I'm going to look for 24ab on both sides. So to get 24 down here, I had to multiply times 3. So 5 times 3 is 15, right? And then this is AB, and that's fine. On this part, I had to multiply it times 3 and times B, right? I need to get the B part here. So this means it's going to be 7 times 3 is 21B, because I had to multiply by the 3 and the B. So then I'm going to write it, and I'm going to have 15 minus 21B all over 24AB. I want to remind you that you cannot, you cannot, you cannot cancel anything with subtraction signs in the same term, okay? So you can't go, oh, I can cancel a 3 out of all this, right? Um, the subtractions, you can't, you can't cancel through a subtraction sign, okay? All right, um, let's see, we got another one here somewhere. How about number 8? Okay, let's see if I can, we get myself some more pages on here. All right, number eight um, is 16 over x squared minus 16. Uh-oh, my pen's not writing very well. Plus 2 over x plus 4. Now, I think you are a lot better at recognizing the difference of two squares um, than I was at your age. So um, this right here is the difference of two squares. So that means I really have 16 over x plus 4, x minus 4. And I did that square root of x squared is x, square root of 16 is 4, plus and minus. So then over here, I know my denominator, this is x plus 4, has to be x plus 4, already got it, times x minus 4. So I have to multiply the top by x minus 4. So that's going to be 2x minus 4. Okay, then I'm going to combine that a little bit, right? So I'm going to have 16 plus, it's plus, I don't need to worry about it too much, 2x minus 8 over x plus 4, x minus 4. And then I'm going to combine my terms, okay? 16 minus 8 is 8, so I'm going to have 2x plus 8, right? So I did 16 minus 8 is 8 over x plus 4, x minus 4. 
Now, very often when you've got even terms, I think, okay, I can factor something out of here. And I can. I can take a 2 out. 2x plus 4 over x plus 4 minus x minus 4. Now, I want to tell you this. Whenever you have stuff in the denominator that's like this, you're going to look to cancel it because you probably will get something to cancel. Okay? So see how my x plus 4 is will cancel. So I'll get 2 over x minus 4. Okay, that was number 8. Let's look at 9. 9 is the same type of deal. 9, I'm going to have 6 over x squared plus 5x plus 6 plus x plus 4 over x plus 3. Now, whenever you see a trinomial like this right here, this trinomial is going to be factorable. And it's probably going to have an x plus 3 in it because they're going to have make my common factors a little easier. So I'm going to do 6 over factoring this. x plus, oof, 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 x squared plus 5x plus 6 um, would be x plus 3. So if I know x plus 3 is going to be there, x plus 3, x plus 2 will give me those factors that I want. Okay, so that'll work. Oof, okay, that'll work. Plus x plus 4, x plus 3. Now see, I've got an x plus 3 here, but I need to add x plus 2 to both parts. So x plus 4, x plus 2. Top and bottom, top and bottom, top and bottom, x plus 2. Now, you might be wondering, why don't I put an x plus 2 over here? Um, this is already here. So it's already here. I don't need to do it. To the, I have to do it to the top and the bottom, and that one's already got it. So that's why I don't. Okay. So now I've got the same um, the same um, denominator. So I have 6 plus quantity x plus 4. Um, x, okay, so I've got to factor, I've got to blow this guy out because this 6 is probably going to make my foiled thing different. So x squared outside plus 2x, inside plus 4x plus 6x. Um, and then plus 8 all over, oops, oops, no, well, let me erase it, plus 8 all over x plus 3, x plus 2, and then I'm going to simplify this. Okay, so my 6 and my 8 are going to come together. x squared plus 6x plus 14 over x plus 3, x plus 2. So I'm going to try and factor this. I just remember doing this problem before. It doesn't factor well. Um, so is x plus 3, is 3 a factor in here? Nope. Is 2 a factor in here? Yeah, 2 and 7, but 2 and 7 can't give me a 6. So that means this is all I got. Okay? So this is the answer because it's not factorable. Okay? That was, was that 8 or was that 9? That was 9. There's my box to put around 9. So, I can't read, oh, mm, I can't read 10 very well. My mind's on there. So, let me do 2. So, when we divide and complex fractions. Complex fraction would be like x over y over 2x over 3z, right? So what you do is you look at the bottom one separately, and you flip it and multiply it, okay? So if I had this, I would change it to be x over y, and I'm going to flip the bottom part times, oh my goodness, x over y. I'm going to flip this. Can you tell I'm having pen issues right now? So my first part again is x over y. I'm going to flip this, so times 3z over 2x. And once I do that, I could cancel the x's, and then I would have 3z over 2y. Now, I made up that problem if you're wondering where I got that from, but I'm going to do number 2 now. 2 is a squared, y squared, over 2b squared c cubed over a b cubed y cubed oh man i'm gonna have to write slower because my pen can't keep up over two b 
b to the fourth c to the tenth. So I'm going to take this bottom part and I'm going to flip it and multiply it. So a squared y squared over 2b squared c cubed times, flipping it, bottom goes on the top, 2b to the fourth c to the tenth over a b to the cubed y to the cubed. Now the best part about multiplying is you can cancel anywhere, okay? So I've got these are going to take out the, oops, thank you very much, Pen, for not changing the way I want you to. Going to take out the 3 here, okay? Um, I have a squared and I have an a here, this a, take out the a squared. I have b to the 4th and b squared. b squared is going to go away. This is going to turn into b squared. C to the 10th, remember, top and bottom things are going to subtract them. So when I cancel this out, I'm going to cancel this and rewrite it as c to the 7th. I'm going to take that one all the way out. My 2's will cancel. Uh, I got b squared, so I still have b squared over b cubed. Those will cancel out. So I'm going to end up with y squared. Uh, b squared is going to go away. c to the 7th over b cubed. You heard the ball, so I'm sorry I only got 11 minutes in there, 11 and a half minutes in there, but we'll do more when I get home. All right. Love you, buddy. See you soon. Toodles.